What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is Kavira's foldable drone. So this drone has double 2MP megapixels, 720p HD cameras. One is on the front, which I'll show you right here. And then one, so sorry, the one on the front also is 120 degree wide angle. And the other one is on the bottom right there. So that allows you to take pictures and videos straight ahead as well as ones below you. So that's a pretty neat little function of this drone right here. It uses Wi-Fi to get real-time footage onto your phone. It has one key, 360 flip, return, takeoff, landing, lens switching, speed switching, VR experience, and much more. It has 150 meter, uh, which is about 500 feet range from the controller to the drone itself. And the battery life is about 15 minutes with a charge time of about 60 minutes for each battery. So right here we have, of course, the drone itself which is still folded up. I'll go and show you how you'd unfold it is you pull this down, pull this out, pull this down, and pull this out. And there you have like the full drone right there. I'm gonna go ahead and fold that back up just to make it a little easier to see in this video. Sorry, give me one sec, and there we go. And of course we have the remote control. We also have an extra battery right here um, for those of you who think it only came with one battery when you buy it, the other one's already put in here. You just pretty much hold it down and pull out like that. And I'll go over the battery a little bit more in a bit as well. And then we also have, um, right here, these are extra, or sorry, these aren't the extra ones. These are the pretty much protective, uh, frame that you can attach, which I'll also show a little bit later. I'll put these off to the side for now. We have a micro USB to USB charging cable for the battery. We have a screwdriver. And then we have four extra propellers right here. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put these off to the side as well. And then over here we have a manual, which I believe is in English and in Chinese. And then we have this little instruction guide on how to get the app for if you wanna do the Wi-Fi um, video pretty much when you put your phone on to see everything through video um, and then it also has it in Chinese and then we also have this little piece of paper right here which I'll go over a little bit later but pretty much it tells you how you can make it do a automatic picture if you're trying to take a selfie with the drone um, which as I said I will go over a little bit later so I'm going to show you how the product works and looks but first I want to mention my patreon Patreon is a site that lets you donate money to help support my channel. However, you get stuff out of it as well. For donating, you get perks such as extra drawings for giveaways, sneak peeks at future videos up to a month in advance, just, you know, to name a few. You can find the link for my Patreon in the description below. So this drone is great for beginners. It's advertised as being suitable for ages 14 and older. It has a 15 minute battery life, which is standard for drones. However, that's per battery, so it came with an extra battery. Let me go ahead and take that out real quick. Came with the extra battery right here. And uh, that pretty much means you can get 30 minutes of flying time out of this drone. Right here we have the point where you would put in the micro USB and to charge the battery. And I like that it's chargeable through micro USB because if you lose the wire, you can always use one from a phone or another device, which is very nice uh, to have. And I tested out to see how easy it is to use. It has really simple controls that doesn't take very long to get used to at all. It also has VR glass compatibility, which is really great add-on. It even takes an automatic picture when you make a peace sign in front of the camera. So for that, there's a they give you a piece of paper that pretty much explains how that works. Go ahead and unfold it right here, or I'll do it like this first. So you can read this, but pretty much um, you just make a peace sign, or as they say, scissor hand V. Uh, but it's pretty much just a peace sign and you'd make sure it's out to the side of you so that way the camera can tell and you can do that with multiple people in the frame uh, just again make sure that the peace sign is not covered when you do it so that's pretty neat you can have the drone just hover above and take a picture of you automatically like that so that's pretty cool um, 
Yeah, so the controller uses two AAA batteries, which it doesn't come with. Um, I'll show you where it would go in though. I'm going to open this up. So it goes in right there. Um, you just pretty much hold it and pull it down to get the cover off. Um, it came with screwdriver though too, to, in case you need to unscrew anything on this or on the drone itself. Um, and like I said, the best thing about this beginner drone is that it has single press tricks. So real quick, um, to turn on the controller, you pretty much just, so it starts off like this, right? You pull this down and this one down and there you turned it on. Uh, make sure you pull these up as well, uh, just for better, better signaling. And then you can attach your phone down here by pulling these down and just putting it in between. It has little rubber grips right here so it won't fall off uh, very easily and down here. So yeah, we have the various buttons. Uh, you can control speed, have it return, headless mode. This right here is the 3D roll. So you just press that to make it do an automatic roll, which is really cool, especially for kids. If you're just like messing around with the kid, you can have them just press that button and it'll automatically do a trick for them. And yeah, so then this is to make it go up and down, stop. Uh, this is like emergency stop pretty much, which you'll probably need uh, when you're getting used to the drone. Here is to control the camera. This one's for video. And yeah, that's pretty much all the buttons for this. Um, pretty simple controls, like I said. And then of course the joysticks, one is to control, um, making it go up, down, and turning pretty much are the points of these. Uh, up, down, move left, right, forward, back. That's for one uh, is to move it forward, back, left, right. And then the other one is to make it go up, down, and turn. So if you don't have it on headless mode, pretty much, you'll need that uh, functionality to make it where you turn it and then whatever way it's turning is now the new forward or backwards. Uh, headless mode makes it to where if you're always facing straight and you press headless mode, if you push this, it'll always be going forward Come uh, in, um, what's the word? In, uh, based on where you're pretty much standing. So if you're like straight ahead from it, you press this, it'll go straight. If you go from here and you do this, it'll go that way pretty much. But yeah, that pretty much covers that. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I, I feel like this drone is definitely a great gift for teenagers since it is easy to use. Plus the single button 360 flip is definitely uh, something that younger people will be wanting out of this drone. Makes it very easy to get used to. Um, something that they would be drawn towards. Um, it's very small, as you can see. It's about, it's a little bit bigger than my hand, in fact. And that, that makes it easy to pretty much store and carry around. Um, oh yeah, I meant to show you so these are to protect the propellers and how you pretty much add them on is there's little holes right there and you just kind of slip it in like this. And there you go. And pretty much it, as you'll see, it keeps the blade from just pretty much getting damaged. Um, in case like it hits the side here, it'll just bounce off. And yeah, see, it'll just bounce off without the propeller getting damaged. So that's nice. Um, and to take it out, you just push down on this little thing right here. You pull out and there you go. And they uh, give you four, for one for each one. It's not necessary to have those on though, um, but it, it is nice to have on just to protect, protect your propellers. And then also has a little rubber on the bottom. So that way when it lands, it will absorb some of the shock as well as keep it from just moving around randomly. And right here is like a little antenna pretty much for uh, the signal that comes out of the remote. But yeah, that pretty much covers everything for this drone. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. The link to this product is in the description below. Be sure to check out TubeBuddy and my Patreon below as well. Thanks for watching.